What's up y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina. And one of the comments that I get that I'm so thankful for is that I look younger or more youthful. And I tell y'all, as a professor on a college campus, oftentimes the youngest be asking me for my snap, as in my Snapchat. Now, thank you my loves, but old Gray Mary ain't what she used to be. Just kidding. Now, my mother who adopted me at three months old has raised me on some of her skincare and anti-aging regimen secrets that have really helped me to stay more youthful and to also present myself as best as I can. Now, one of those things that she's taught me is that even in your 20s, in your mid 20s, your skin starts to age. So you should start whatever regimen you want to begin, no matter how old you are. Right now is the best time. Jeans, daily habits, and the sun can cause major changes. Now, most of these tips that I'm going to give you might seem like common sense, but for some of us, it ain't so common because we ain't doing it. Let this be your reminder. Please comment below and chime in in the conversation and let us know some of your secrets that have worked well for you. And if you're finding that your regimen no longer works, make sure that you team up with your doctor, dermatologist, and or your esthetician to make sure you get your skincare routine on point. Now, all the items that I discussed can be found down below in that good old information section. Let's go. And y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section. Now, the first thing I was taught was to tend to dry, dusty, and ashy hands. Now, no name calling around here, but we just calling it like we see it. I'm no stranger to forgetting the moisturizer on my hands and getting that powder between the fingers look. You know what I'm talking about. Hands tell your age very quick. The skin there is thinner with less fat there to plump it up underneath. Fight that by keeping hand moisturizers near for when you wash your hands or when you go out in the elements. Look for ingredients like alpha hydroxies, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, safflower seed oil, and shea butter. Y'all know that I love Eucerin and Dr. Teal's lotion because they are very much inexpensive, at least the Dr. Teal's. The Eucerin is a little more pricey, but I also like to seal those in with a mixture of olive oil, jojoba oil, shea oil, and coconut oil. And don't forget the sunscreen all over your body in order to cut down on the dark marks and also the sun overexposure, which can also age the skin. And in fact, don't go without a moisturizer and a sunscreen daily and usually it's recommended around a 50 SPF. The next thing that I was taught was to make sure that I spend time taking good care of my own feet or invest in getting a good pedicure. Now, we all go hard on our feet, and I am no stranger to this because I run almost every day. However, we should not be out here looking like we kicking bricks. Furthermore, we shouldn't be starting forest fires because we start rubbing our feet up against our sheets. The skin on the bottom of our feet thickens with age because of all the walking. Y'all know one of the remedies that I use is soaking my feet in warm water with apple cider vinegar, which helps to loosen up that skin a bit so that you can run over it with a pumice stone. I like to do that at least twice a month when I think of it or just simply go and get a good pedicure. You can also use thick creams. I love Curel cream or petroleum jelly to help to soften those thick, tough heels. I also love to put on socks overnight like my aloe vera socks that Bay got me that really help to soften up the feet overnight so you wake up to nice feeling feet. So make sure that you're taking good care of those toes and feet. So another thing that I was taught to do that I did even before I had a nice amount of money was make sure that I invested in my mouth and in my teeth. Having very stained teeth can make you look older. I invest in a good toothbrush as well as over-the-counter whitening toothpaste or just overall healthy toothpaste. And I've linked some of my favorites down below in the information section. I've even used over-the-counter whitening strips or gels. When I needed that extra oomph, I went to the dentist. And by the way, when I talk about the dentist, I go at least twice a year, every six months for a good deep cleaning to make sure that my teeth are intact and in order and to check for any problems because sometimes you get a little problems in there. And years ago, some of you all might remember this, I had something called a gummy tuck or a gingivectomy, where is they took some of the tissue from my teeth around the gum area that was excess tissue in order to make sure that more of my smile showed through, which gave me a more 
youthful appearance. I also have teeth whitening trays that I use that are very expensive. So use the over-the-counter stuff until you can't. But basically those really were created by my dentist to help me to keep my smile white. I use it at least once a month. Now besides brushing my teeth twice a day, which is important and flossing as well, I keep my lips exfoliated, moisturized, and also hydrated. I moisturize them daily with stuff like vitamin E, shea butter, and petroleum jelly if needed. And I drink all the water to hydrate and moisturize overall. So another thing I like to do is make sure that I take time to properly groom my excess facial hair. Yes, hair under the chin, the mustache, in the nose, all of that can age us. And I should definitely know, I can grow nose hair like a caveman. I love to get threaded for my facial hair. So I go in and I thread that mustache area, all these areas around the mouth, if I have anything on the chin. I also like to make sure that at home on my own, I take time to use my special nose hair clippers and clip that down really well at least once a week. This helps to give you an overall more youthful and groomed appearance. The next thing I do is I like to make sure that I don't overwash my face or my body. This could cause the D&D, &D, dry dustiness. I learned for soap to remove dirt, it must dissolve fats. So it's important to make sure that natural fats are replenished in our skin. Certain people, especially as we get older, can have a hard time replenishing this. So it's important to add it back with a hydrating facial wash or a body wash that's really gentle. No more, and I know some people need to take at least two showers a day or wash their face twice a day, but keep it to a minimum. And also as far as exfoliating the face and the skin, I like to keep that to only twice a week, either by mechanical or a topical exfoliator. And like I said, I like to make it a point to use gentle cleansers across the face and body to give it a nice glow, finish, and youthful appearance. Y'all, I'm especially more deliberate with moisturizing my face as well as my overall skin. It protects and improves my skin, especially since I have more combination skin and it can get oily or it can be dry or it can be both. So even if I have oily skin or breakouts, I use a oil-free lightweight moisturizer throughout my day. And if it's more dry in a season, then I like to make sure that I put it on more than once in a day. I also like to pat it on nicely even when my skin is still pretty damp. That's why I love to use paper towels, guys, instead of towels so that it doesn't put bacteria back into my skin and it makes it easier for me to just pat dry and then put the moisturizer on, be deliberate about massaging it in as opposed to just swiping it on, y'all. You wanna make sure your body gets the full benefit. The next thing I do, guys, is I make sure I watch how I style my hair. I stick with buns, updos, twists, braids, and even puffs. These translate to most any age and they look pretty classy. I try to stay away from wearing styles just because they're trendy and I pay more attention to the facial shape, the size, how my face looks that day, if I'm more puffy, if I'm a little more swollen, all of those different things because you wanna wear things that make you more memorable, that make you stand out, that make you look softer and help you achieve a certain look, not just wearing it because everybody's wearing it. Another thing that I really make sure that I do is ensure that I beef up on those alpha hydroxy acids across my whole body, y'all. And you all have heard me talk about AHAs a lot in some of my skincare videos. They're very plentiful in a lot of the over-the-counter wrinkle creams as well as creams that you can be prescribed by a doctor in order to help with anti-aging. And if they're used properly, they can cut down on certain types of wrinkling. And y'all, there are many. Glycolic acid for anti-aging, lactic acid for anti-aging. There's also mandelic acid, tartaric acid, absorbic acid, malic acid, and citric acid. Trying products that really contain these are great. And that's why I love Eucerin for all over my body because it contains alpha hydroxies. Y'all, the next thing is I literally exercise my off. I try to make sure that I get exercise in one way or another every day. This includes 30 minutes at the gym at least or doing something at home. I even take a walk or play with Bella. This helps your skin by overall boosting the blood flow. Sweating also flushes out dirt. Overall it keeps the skin looking tighter and more glowy and dewy. It also helps you to de-stress and it also adds to feeling younger and looking more younger, youthful, and energetic. Y'all, another lesson I had to learn is that makeup is used to enhance and more does not equal better. My mother always taught me to give yourself something to look forward to in life. Don't use everything all at once, especially if you don't necessarily need all of it. Avoid super thick foundations that can cake into fine lines. I also make sure that I make good investments in my lipsticks and don't allow them to bleed. And I've had to learn how to line my lips so that I don't have bleeding lipstick all over the place, which not only makes you look like a clown sometimes, 
times, but it also just makes you look older. I've grown out my brows whenever they start to get sparse. And I know I get clowned for the thick eyebrows and you all have seen them without any kind of help. They're just thick and bushy, but that actually adds to a more youthful look. I even wear a little bit of concealer on the days when my sleep game ain't up to snuff. Overall, I try to make sure that I step out looking polished and natural. And whenever I need some help, I make sure that I seek a help of a professional, just like you would with your skin. Make sure you check out some of the people like at the Mac counter or at different places that can teach you different things. I went to a makeup artist and learned from some of her courses and classes. Y'all, I also stopped being bitten by the organic bug. There's no scientific proof that all natural or all organic skincare products are actually 100% better for your skin. Some have even irritated me when my skin is in a more sensitive state. I like to test everything first on a non-noticeable area of my body before I try it on my face especially and all over my skin. It'll save you a headache in the end. Y'all I've learned to eat more fats and more healthy ones anyway. Now something like salmon is really good and the fats that it produces really helps for building blocks especially for larger tissues on your body like your skin. It's high in proteins and healthy omega-3 fatty acids. For non-fish eaters and non-meat eaters, there's a lot of other options as well. Chia seeds, flax seeds, walnuts, edamame, kidney beans, and soybeans. All of those are excellent. All of these fats are anti-inflammatory and keep your skin plump and with less wrinkles. It's recommended that most healthy people eat at least two servings of fatty fish a week. And not a whole barrel, one serving is about 3.5 to 4 ounces of fish. There's a lot of fatty fish out there as well. Salmon, trout, herring, mackerel, albacore tuna, and even sardines. I also eat fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. The next thing I do is I make sure I sleep on my back. I sleep hard y'all, so it's nothing for me to wake up looking like I've been in a jungle fight with lines on my face. Also, did you know that causing pressure to the same area of the skin can reduce the collagen in that area, which actually helps to plump out your skin and make it look more youthful. Sleeping on your back keeps your skin from rubbing up against your pillow and causing those permanent damaging lines. This position on your back can also help with your lines in your neck because it stretches your neck a little bit more, keeping it from creasing so much. While we're talking about sleep positions, there's another huge reason why I choose to sleep on my back. I don't know about y'all, but I pay really good money for my face creams and neck creams, and I certainly don't want my pillow benefiting more than me. Sleeping on your back can help avoid that. This also helps to cut down on breakouts because you're not resting your face into your pillow, which could be transferring bacteria and debris onto your face. By the way, y'all always ask about my silk pillowcases, and I made sure that I shared them down below in the information section. They're in my Amazon shop. And if you're getting unexplained acne breakouts, out, that could be the cause. Resting your face down in your pillow is not good for you, especially if it's not getting washed enough. So I wash my pillowcases at least twice weekly and I don't snuggle my face in them. Another trick is I learned to make sure that after I put on my nightly face cream, I sit for at least 20 minutes, allowing it to soak in before I lay down. I also take care of my eyes and I get the rest that I need when I'm able. And I know it says to get at least eight hours, but I get as much as I can. Also, this might seem silly when it comes to eyes, but make sure you're getting your contacts and your eyeglasses updated at least yearly. Know what your prescription is because when you squint a lot, you're causing wrinkles. And y'all, I live in Houston. That's where the sun don't play. So I wear sunglasses to protect from all those UV rays. I also make sure that I do eye masks as well as general masks. And I also make sure that I get general medications for allergies and things like that when my eyes get puffy. Believe it or not, those red, puffy, swollen eyes can even add to your age. Y'all, I definitely definitely get with the antioxidants and I make sure that I eat up and wear my vitamin C. Antioxidants are vitamins and compounds that protect the skin from free radicals and overall damage. And that's why I eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables because it helps to boost the antioxidants from the inside out. And the more colorful, the better. I also apply creams and serums that are rich in vitamin C. And vitamin C is necessary for normal collagen production. And y'all know I've shown you videos where I use vitamin C all over my body because it helps with a lot of those dark marks, those wrinkles, fine lines, all of that. And I enjoy using it on areas like my thighs and my calves, 
all over my belly, my chest, even my face, everything. Ask your dermatologist about products that they recommend with high versions of vitamin C in them. Now y'all, here are some bonus things for you to remember. I learned to get a professional involved with my skin early and I try to make sure I nip problems in the bud as they happen. Hormones, hair products, and stress can cause the skin to look ridiculous. And a dermatologist or an esthetician are excellent in helping you figure out what your skin needs most. The next thing is I love to do what I love. I thought about my path for my future and I've shared a lot of videos about my career with you guys, but I work a job that I don't have to be at all day in and day out. I don't work a nine to five. I can be in and out of my office as I need. I only teach on Tuesdays. I'm in and out of my clinic. I don't have to be at work every day. I'm a little bit more mobile and flexible, which gives me a lot more to look forward to. I'm able to run my business. I'm able to do things that I enjoy. I'm able to interact and network with those that keep me youthful, happy, and healthy. The next thing is to make sure that you're not in the sun too much. And while we need vitamin D, we don't need to overdo it with our skin because it can age it. I don't care how brown we are. Maybe consider taking a vitamin D supplement, which is something that I do. Smoking, no. Nah. Excessive drinking, heck no. Nah. And make sure that you're always protecting your eyes with sunglasses and taking the best care of all of your extremities possible. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video about anti-aging and skincare secrets that have really worked for me, passed down by my beautiful mother, who is 70 years old, 71, my goodness. Uh, make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. A beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.